So I'm responsible for that old video which sucks, which tells you how to use Vim with uh, for editing web applications. So it's high time for an update, and this is the update. Um, thanks for finding it. Okay, let's create a user, which I'm going to install everything in. And let me just change to that user. So it's a blank user. So in order to install this sort of like Vim helper stuff, it's pretty minimalistic, it's not complete. You need Pathogen since uh, Vim doesn't really have package management. So it needs this sort of kludge to get it all working. Sorry about that. Um, just follow the instructions or just copy what I did there. Once that, once Pathogen's there, you're pretty A for a way. Just clone in my stuff to the bundle directory. Another thing you probably need is all these NPM little helpers. So these are the tools I'm going to integrate with Vim and make your life a whole lot easier when you're editing web applications. So now that's there, let's just um, come up with an example site that we're going to edit. Um, I'm just going to edit some HTML, you know, hello world. Um, and we're using the power of the make prog and the error format thing of Vim. It's very simple. I'll show you how it works shortly. Okay, so it, um, I'm, what, what that did is uploaded the HTML to validate it on, in you and say what the errors were. And it gives you the line numbers and the columns and such and so forth. Let me just quickly show you how this actually works. Uh, from the Vim side, it when when you when you edit say an HTML file, it uses this shell script to upload your uh, your HTML to, to validate it, and uses this error format sort of um, sort of uh, line to to know how to pass the error format that it returns. Similarly, I'm using CSS lint here, different or error format that it returns, so that Vim can pass it and tell you where the errors are. Similarly, again, I'm using JS Hint to, to work out the, the JavaScript stuff. Um, let me write some terrible JavaScript. So here is some terrible JavaScript for you to look at. Um, so that should run JS Hint over that when I, when I run make over it. And yeah, sure enough, there's a missing semicolon. Um, and then if I run make again, the error is gone. Um, by um, without installing anything, you can actually format code by just highlighting it with V and pressing equals. Um, but sometimes it does a terrible job. Uh, depends how Vim is feeling on that day. Another way of doing it is calling an external command like a JS format. So you go colon percent exclamation just format and that sort of um, formats your buffer and puts it back in there. So that's like a great way. So uh, a great way to develop. When you're developing, you, you link your code, you make sure it's like um, you know well formatted and that's like that's like a big part of the hassles of, of coding taken care of just with these little tools. So I hope that was a good explanation of how to, to use Vim. And um, um, please please subscribe or thumbs it thumbs up the uh, the video. Thanks a lot.